Hi, and thanks again for joining me on Silver for Good. Today we're going to go into the swimming pool market and talk about waterproofing pools. It is becoming more and more of a common practice now with designers, and as it should, because pools are made of concrete, and how you actually protect the, the structure from water damage over time. So let's talk about an underground pool because these are really the areas that commonly are needing to be waterproofed and get waterproofed. Concrete structure, more often than not, and it's, it's normally it's in a pore or it could be shotcrete. Before you start, assess the, the condition of the surface to ensure that it's in a good state and look for little things like hairline cracks or bigger cracks or how the drains are, in terms of not drains, but you've got sometimes the water jets that are actually integrated into the pool area for light fittings, etc. How they all look, how they all going to finish and how you're going to integrate your membrane to that because they will potentially be a weak point. As you know, it's con continuously under, under water, it's immersed, and there's a lot of pressure in that environment. So ensure that you actually are focused on how you look at that first before you start diving into the application. Surface preparation, as we always state, and then pick the membrane that's suitable for the application. Now, a lot of times I get this discussion where people ask about the elongation properties of a membrane for a swimming pool. These structures are not designed to move. We're talking about a swimming pool that's holding water and the, the concrete structure should be quite durable or designed in a way that it's very, very strong. So it's not like a bathroom floor that you might expect high levels of movement. So elongation is not a property that is critical. So there are systems that could be potentially a class one or a class two membrane in terms of elongation, but the features that they can provide you for a pool application is high tensile strength, which is what you want. And look at the pressure resistance. Hydrostatic pressure for both positive and negative. You want a good balance there. In the grip set range, we tend to go with our grip set C1P because of its properties for both positive and negative pressure. But that is one that you actually want to in, uh, assess first. And then you also got to look at, like I said before, the termination points. Uh, potential sometimes there might be staircases or ladders that are involved that have been implemented into the pool area, how you're going to seal around those. You don't use your standard type sealants that you use in a bathroom or a balcony in pool applications. Check out the best sealant manufacturers out there. Normally there are pool grade silicons that work very, very well. And how you're going to integrate that with your membrane, are they compatible? If you've got any movement joints in the pool, we always go with our elastic proof joint band and integrate that with our membrane. Then it comes to the part with the finish, and this is the more important one. If it's going to be tiled over, which these days is the more common one, the tiling needs to be done, and the tiling needs to be done to the Australian standard. So I've seen pool situations before where they tend to bypass some of the movement joints that are required in tiling applications. Now, most pools are outside. I get it, they're indoor pools. But when, you're out, when you've got a pool that's outdoors, it doesn't just have the water immersion that it's dealing with. It's weather, UV light, and there's thermal pressures on those tile finishes. And so movement joints um, within the tile finish are critical to ensure that they don't over, put over stresses on the membrane finish. But the, the right type of tile adhesive, and the best tile adhesive companies out there will give you a specification on their pool grade adhesive. Don't go and use a tile adhesive that's required for um, kitchen splashbacks or, or even bathroom wet areas. It needs to be a pool grade version. Your grouse need to be that as well. And as I said before, any of the joint sealants in that, in that tile finish as well. And ensure that the membrane is durable enough for that. Now, when we do our immersed areas, we tend to increase the film thickness of the membrane in our specification because of the fact is it is immersed. It's the most testing environment where you're going to be holding water permanently, like a water tank. So take your time to ensure you've read the data sheet, check the specification out. If you want details before you start on that, we've got a pool specification we can give you and our guys in our tech services department will help guide you along the right path on that. But also the next part of it is how you terminate the membrane at the height of the pool where it actually is outside the pool. So you've got to integrate the membrane underneath the pool coping area, okay, to the outskirts. Don't just finish it inside the pool. For the fact is you don't want water traveling in behind the membrane and the substrate. So you've got to actually tank it right outside and then you've got a system that can, take, can cater for that. Now, in the event you're doing any work on a suspended swim pool, okay, and remember this one, we've had this work before, if you've got a suspended pool 
and there's rooms below or buildings below, we have utilised our Gripset GC system for the base of that pool because of its crack resistance. It's one of the few sheet membranes that is suitable for that environment and then it can handle the tiling systems on top of that. If you want those details, please get hold of the Tech Services Department and we'll help specify that for you and guide you on how you can integrate that with the Gripset C1P system. If you've got any questions on swimming pools, throw them our way, we're happy to help. This is one, guys, that you can actually, those of you out there that are doing pools or specialising in that area, it is not your general run-of-the-mill application. You get to specialise in this. Do it properly, gain that work, and it can continue for you. We'll see you next time.